Hello everyone. All right, today I'm gonna to rip one mega box of Bowman. Give this a second shot. Uh, my hunch is blasters are the best format. Um, I still hold to that, even no matter what we pull out of this mega box. Um, I did pull a Jackson Holiday out of the first mega box that I did, and I pulled this out of a blaster. So, wanted to give this one more shot. See what we get out of this. Uh, interesting with the Megas, you get four retail packs, but I haven't seen any parallels or inserts out of those, so I wonder if those are just base packs or what the deal is with these packs. I still haven't figured it out, and I've watched a couple openings. They've all been kind of similar. But yeah, you get the two Mega Box packs with the Mojo Refractors. If you like the silver packs out of the Hobby Boxes, I think these are for you. Um, and then the four regular packs of Bowman. So we'll rip through these really pretty quickly. As I said, I haven't seen any inserts or parallels pulled out of these packs. So um, be kind of a shame if they're just base packs. Tops is not doesn't even have the odds on the back or to say that they're on the website on these packs. These are interesting, a little different from the retail packs. So I think if my memory serves me correctly. So. Yeah, let's go ahead and see on these four packs of cards here. And yeah, no insert. Uh, no first that I recognize in that first pack. Keep on going through these. I wonder if these are just packs of base cards. I'm not sure. They just added these on at the end of the print run. I'm curious because yeah I've not seen any inserts or parallels out of these packs so which in my opinion would make Megas a pretty bad deal if that's the case so yeah if you've seen inserts or parallels out of these packs I'd be very curious I have not seen any <laughs> So Justin Crawford first, it's not bad. I looked him up, he has like a ridiculous number of stolen bases. Um, I think he's still playing in A ball right now. Here's our last base pack. There's a Shohei. And yeah, no inserts, no parallels in these packs. So quite interesting. If that's the case, then yeah, we kind of are probably overpaying for these mega box packs. But here we go, one more. We'll go ahead and see. Nolan Gorman, a rookie card. Nelson Rada first. Upside down, that could be an autograph. How Yu Lee. Moises Ballesteros. Yeah, let's see what this card is. It's upside down, so this could be an autograph. It's not a parallel. Guardians. All right, so we do pull an autograph. Chase the Lauder autograph. So two for two on the autographs. I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and see how this second pack here. All right, Riley Green, Lindor, Gunnar Henderson, rookie of year favorites. Oh, that's nice. Corbin Carroll Mojo rookie card, and a Lazaro Montez. So. Um, not certain what the odds are for autographs. I'd have to do a little bit of more homework. Maybe watch a break of somebody just busting a ton of these mega boxes, see what the average number of autographs you're pulling. But nice to hit a second autograph. Chase the Lauder. Don't know too much about this guy. Looks like a college player, born 10801. So that would make him 22, eighth rated Guardians prospect. All right. It's not bad. First round, 16th pick for the Guardians. Not a first. So, last year's draft. Or no, maybe he was in a Bowman draft. 
So cool. Second autograph. Nice to hit an autograph. This one looks pretty decent. So two for two on the autographs from the Mojos. So I've done two of these boxes, two Mojo autographs. I feel very lucky. Um, don't think I'll be pushing my luck much more on these mega boxes. They are quite pricey. We did pull this Corbin Carroll rookie card, which is pretty nice. I like this one. So, yeah, I think we did okay, above average out of this mega. I'm pretty happy with these pulls, and yeah, that'll do it. Awesome. Thanks for watching.